Hey guys, so um, today my grandparents parents came over from my dad's side, and you may not know, but my dad isn't here anymore. He, um, I'll probably make a different video of that, but um, yeah, they came over, and they looked at me really weird, and I didn't tell them about the hospitalization because I didn't want them to, like, think I knew she had an eating disorder, because I would... I just, I don't want to, like, I don't want to prove them right. I want them to feel like I don't have any eating disorder, even though I do. Yeah, I just don't want them to think that the only way you can get skinny is from having an eating disorder, because it's not the only way. There's hundreds of ways to get, hundreds of ways to get skinny without throwing up, um, or even, like, very little or anything like that. So, yeah, um... And, like, I went to the bathroom because, okay, so, in the morning, I really wanted to purge. I really wanted to, like, eat a lot and then throw it up. And, um, my mom was still sleeping, and I was like, maybe I shouldn't because she'll know what I'm doing. I just don't want to go there. But then I waited until about 2. That's when I just, I couldn't wait anymore. That's when, when my mom went to work. So, I was good, but then... As soon as I was done binging, they came. Like, my grandparents came right then. And I was just like, fuck this, you know, like, sorry that I don't deserve this. Like, I deserve to purge. And I was eating, a, like, a quesadilla, a cheese quesadilla, tortilla shell thing. It was really, really good. And I was just like, okay, so I need to drink my water while I'm eating this so that I can throw it up without choking. And it was just really weird um, because they were there watching me eat and, yeah... At least I didn't see, like, the other things that I had in my room. I had fruit snacks, Cheez-Its, um, two ramen noodle packages, some, like, Greek yogurt stuff that's really good, and some, like, cinnamon swirl things. So, yeah, I had a lot, but I didn't eat it all. Obviously, I still have a lot left because I need to save food for my binges. And, yeah, but then I, I went up to the bathroom, and I came in there with my 20 ounce like cup thing. Um, sometimes I'll just use one of these, but like I don't like that because they're not they don't hold as much water. And when I purge, I need like usually I need 80 ounces of water because each time I like drink two 20 ounces, I'm gonna do three rounds. So yeah, I know it's not good for me, but it's just how I do it and stuff. And I'm rambling. I'm sorry, but I forgot what I was talking about. I was talking about, oh yeah, the purging. So then I went into the bathroom with my little 20 ounce cup thing and I turned the water on, like the shower, and I just started purging. And luckily, um, I'm a pretty quiet purger now, but um, I don't think they knew, but they looked at me kind of odd when I left. But I don't think, they didn't say anything or anything like that. They probably just thought I took a shower because I told them, doesn't my hair look so much better now? And stuff like that. So they're probably like, whatever. And then um, my grandpa was like, so how have you been doing? And I'm like, good. He's like, well, that's not what I've heard. And I'm like, what? Because I didn't, I didn't hear what he said because Lance was talking, my brother. And then grandma just like changed the subject. And then later they asked me about how camp was. Yeah. I was at camp for two weeks, a.k.a. eating disorder, um, behavioral health place. And not everyone there had an eating disorder, um, only some girls did. Mostly it was just a place nearby me where a lot of people with problems go to that have been having a rough time or something and they're doing something bad or like I'm doing something bad, like throwing up and stuff like that. And yeah, and I was there for two weeks. It sucked, really, it sucked. But yeah. And I just told them that it was like an outdoor camp and that we made crafts there. And then they asked me, oh, what kind of crafts did you make? And I'm like, oh, you know, just stuff. And then I was like, and he's like, can you show me something that you got? And I was like, oh, no, we had to keep it there because they were donating them to children in need. Um. <laughs> I'm a really bad liar sometimes, so I should have said that we didn't make any crafts and we just kind of hung out in boats and swam and stuff and stuff. So yeah, um, I'm pretty sure they could tell I was lying, but whatever.
I just hope they don't think I'm anorexic or bulimic or anything because if they do, I'm going to be so pissed because they're always up in my face about my mouth is really dry. About like what I eat and how much I eat and like, yeah, they always push meat into my face and honestly the only time I'm going to eat meat is if I'm going to get rid of it and I don't even see meat as an appealing thing anymore. Um, I have this sub sandwich in my fridge that I got for my binges. I said it was for my lunches, so that's how I got it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been able to. Um, it had salami and ham in it, and it was, I didn't like that. But, um, the salami, it's like, it was turning gray. So, hopefully they didn't, they didn't use sodium nitrate on it because that causes cancer. But that's still really gross. That just shows why we shouldn't eat meat. And, like, hey. <laughs> Sorry, that may have been triggering. I can't help it. I'm like, I do that all the time in class, and I'm pretty sure that people notice because once I was doing that, like that thing with your wrist, and like my friend Stephanie, she looked at me and she was like, like that, you know. And I was like, oh crap. And <laughs> sometimes I go like this with my my bones up here, and I like feel them, and then I go like, I suck in, and then I like feel my hip bones. It just gives me some kind of comfort when I'm sad or something. I'm like, oh, I still have this. It just, it's like, I can feel my bones. It makes me feel happy. And stuff. So, yeah. Um, um, this is turning into a weird video. Um, but, yeah. So, my grandparents kind of probably know now. And they wanted um, me to come down there. But I didn't want to be there until Monday because... We have Labor Day, and I would like to spend that at home with my eating disorder because I have all that time to devote to it. I've had the whole summer, too, but it went by really fast every day just doing, like, hundreds and hundreds of jumping jacks and, like, tens of miles, like, 17-mile bike rides and just, like, working my body to the ground and stuff. And, yeah, like, I remember this one night where I really, really did not want to go on a bike ride. I was too tired to, and I did 17 miles, and, um, I didn't want to, but I didn't have the control or the strength to not. I couldn't just sit there at my laptop, and some people on Tumblr are like, how can you just go on your bike rides? I don't understand it. Like, you have to have, like, the most amount of motivation. No, I have the most self-criticism in my head when I don't. I feel so guilty when I don't. So I just, I do it. I feel like I have to. And I just walk out the door and I can't stop myself. And I just go until I'm done and stuff. So yeah, when I get home, I'm really tired. And I try my best not to eat after I get home. Because then if I do, I start like binging. And then I have to like, and I'm like, oh, I might as well just eat as much as I want. And then get rid of it. And that's not a good thing to do. Especially when you're working out. Because you can have heart attacks um, if you're a bulimic and you work out due to irregular heartbeat and um, you can go into cardiac arrest also so I'm really careful with that not to be too intense when I work out because I know that um, that is a risk of mine and I don't want that to happen to me but yeah and you know that night that like that one video that I made I had like that like black Abercrombie sweatshirt on like after that I was really shaky and I was thinking a lot and I hadn't eaten that much that day. Okay, I'm getting shaky again. I can't talk about this. I'm sorry. I'll get, like, obsessive, and then I'll have to go to the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> um, thing with me is I get... One thought leads to another, and I start thinking too much. I start shaking, and I can't handle it. Yeah. Eating stuff makes me feel better, though. But then the feeling afterwards, I hate it. And last night, I, um, okay, this is turning into a ranting video. I'm going to end it now. Follow my Tumblr, 90 Pounds. I'll have the link below. And, yeah. So, yeah. Bye, guys.